let's go to our main topic for today here on the Gavin Symes Show. And we can talk about all of these things, governments controlling our lives, pr creating propaganda to manipulate us, to dumb us down, short videos, just really reducing our intelligence, our intention span, and making everything about instant gratification instead of learning. And then we can come over to somebody who has done the opposite of that for many years, and that's Ammon Bundy. And Ammon Bundy was about a month ago. He failed to show up for court, much like I did. But Ammon Bundy waited a lot longer to leave. Uh, and I'll be perfectly honest, I, I, I see what's coming. I saw the writing on the wall. A lot of people agreed with me on this and even advised me to do it. And I said, you know what? I've become an activist that's catching a lot of attention and I don't have any desire to be in a prison cell or dead. I don't help my people by doing that. So I left in 2017, I packed up and within 48, like no one knew, I wasn't like announcing it, a 40, in, within a 48 hour window, I had loaded everything I could fit into an RV and I was in another country, which is Mexico. People say, why Mexico? Because Mexico, while there's plenty of corruption, does have a lot more freedom. And it's not, it's not like Canada where they'll just hand you right back on a whim back to the USA. Mexico uh, has a fairly high respect for international refugee law. And so over the following years after that, I became an actual certified refugee from the United States of America in Mexico. This video is about Ammon Bundy though, because Ammon Bundy has been doing activism for a long time. And while Ammon Bundy and I weren't always on the same page, we didn't always have the same approach. I've always felt like the approach should be like being really open and talking to people and, and just being right down there with them and putting it all out there and defending every position. Not saying, oh, we're just going to defend ranchers or we're just going to defend Republican issues or we're just going to defend gun rights. And this, I lost a lot of supporters for this over the years because I didn't want to just stay on one issue. I wanted us to talk about human rights. And over the years, Ammon did more and more of that. What started is Ammon and Cliven and, and Ryan and the Bundy family fighting for their land rights on their ranch, which they had a legitimate claim to because of their grazing rights. Lots of videos been done on that. Virtually every news article you see on Ammon Bundy says, you know, he's found guilty in court. A court said he lied. Uh, but we know what the court's doing. The courts are liars. And what happened in the past couple of years after Ammon finally got released from prison, because you know that I was down there with lots of people like Josh Martinez, who they're still railroading, like Kelly Stewart, John Lamb, and we were protesting for Ammon Bundy and the other political prisoners from the Bundy Ranch, from the Oregon Refuge. These were protests, and they constantly, much like they did with the January 6th protest, anybody that's against them, they make it that they're terrorists and they pit us against each other. Now, I wasn't a Trump supporter ever. I always knew he was a charlatan, but you take January 6th and these people were there doing a legitimate protest against a corrupt government, even if they weren't all there for reasons that I agree with, that didn't matter. And that's always been my take. You can be Black Lives Matter, you can be Native Americans, you can be Republicans, you can be Democrats. The system's corrupt and you have a right to stand up and say no more. And so they keep beating all of us down and making us as poor as broken and possible. And that's what they tried to do with Ammon Bundy. In fact, if you go to the news now, you'll see the mainstream news posers talking about how he fled uh, and how Ammon Bundy's threatening to be violent. I've never seen Ammon Bundy be a violent man in any fashion. He's a peaceful man. He knows how to communicate calmly, but they've done their best to take pretty much everything from Ammon. And what they actually did, I want you to understand this. Let's go to here. These guys right here, St. Luke's Medical Center. You go back a couple years and there was a protest, okay? And you guys can go to this in Boise and you can leave your thoughts if you want. I'm not saying what to do or what not to do. I'm just saying these corporate scumbags, 
And I say corporate scumbags because I'm not saying there's no good doctors there. I'm not saying there's no nurses that care about people. But what happens is most of them get into this and they have to play to the tune of the corporate system in order to stay there, to get the money, to get the benefits. They went in and Ammon actually just did a video a few days ago. This was four hours ago. So he's still putting content out, which is great. I don't know where Ammon is. I don't need to know where Ammon is. My advice for Ammon Bundy and anyone in these kind of situations is, is leave. Get as far out of their reach as possible. Don't just go to another state. Ignore the courts. Reject their lies. Refuse to show up. I'm not saying to do this for every little misdemeanor and you want to go fight it. But when you, when you like, be sensitive to it. When the time is there and you know they're trying to take everything, they're going to kill you. They're going to put you in prison. They're going to do, murder you like Lavoy Finnicum. They're going to lock you up like Schaefer Cox, like, like Jeff Winehouse, like Leonard Peltier. We got people that have been in prison for fives, tens, twenties years, longer. No one to get out. And here's Ammon's channel, by the way, and he's still posting. And you can actually see, if we go in here, that what he, he goes through and he gives very rational explanations. And he's coming in here, and you can go check this video out it after is. this one. And a Meridian police officer making plans to sneak baby Cyrus to another hospital because protesters were outside. First, before the night is over, what I'd rather do is see if we can find another entrance to get out to the, to the Now, this is hospital staff at St. Luke's talking about how they can sneak a baby that they have forcibly taken from the parents, how they can sneak it out the back door. Here's that baby right here. Fired, but he's... And you can see that with this mother. baby Here is doing is. fine. In fact, in is the medical documents, looks... in the medical documents, the doctor said he's, he's not in danger. He's, he's not in a bad situation. And St. Luke's Hospital and CPS and child services, they wanted to keep him. Because what do these do? What do these corporate goons do? They make money. Child services makes an enormous amount of money by keeping children. If you don't believe me, look into the Wenatchee witch hunts from the 90s. The child services of Washington State framed something like 50, 60 people for child sex violations by manipulating children to give false testimonies. Only years later, eventually, did every single one of those people get exonerated after their children had been taken, their lives and their reputations and their businesses and everything they had had been destroyed and stolen from them. Do you know why child services did it? Because the quotas were low. They weren't getting enough child abuse cases to justify their budgets. So they invented it. Did they go to prison? Oh, no. No, because this is what the government's allowed to do. People are so busy saying, look, immigrants are taking our stuff. Immigrants are committing crimes. Terrorists are going to invade us that they don't even stop to realize that the people they're supporting that are feeding them the propaganda of division, of hatred, of racism, of borders control, of prison systems, of police saving us. They don't even realize that those are literally the people trafficking the children, murdering the people in the streets, and robbing you blind. Those are the people who will literally come to your home. This blows my mind if I'm discussing like people's right to travel, immigration, things like that. Oh no, but you have to do this because they're criminals. The people building the propaganda in uniforms, politicians and podiums, these are literally the people who with a straight face will say you have to pay taxes on property you paid for 30 years ago or we'll come and take your home from you and sell it to someone else. The same people saying immigrants are coming to invade your homes are literally invading your homes. So when you come to the Ammon Bundy case, when you come to baby Cyrus and the fact that the corporate goons of St. Luke's were working with child services to literally send police and steal this little boy out of the arms of his mother and then try and find reasons to not return him. That's why there was a protest because word got out because of Ammon Bundy. And so you know what they did? And this is becoming a pattern. I want you guys to be aware of this. 
This is becoming a pattern and this is why it's getting so hard to stand because people are so ignorant. People are so incredibly ignorant. Because when you look at the news stories that are written with snarling faces as we try to stand up for people's rights, that are written, that are absolute parrots of police reports and politician propaganda saying that, look, hospital is on lockdown because of protesters. No, the hospital was on lockdown because they were participating in human trafficking and people were there to stand up to them and they were afraid of that. And so you know what they did? They sued Ammon Bundy. They sued Ammon Bundy and they got damages of $50 million. Now, can you imagine this? This is, this is the new tact, right? It's not just Ammon they've done this to. They've done this to Alex Jones from InfoWars. Again, there's a lot of things that I look at Alex Jones over the years, and I've dealt with, with the team of Alex Jones back in the Bundy Ranch days, and I could, I could say things, and I could say I don't agree with Alex Jones, I don't agree with his approach a lot of times, I think he's just kind of sensationalized. It doesn't matter. As journalists, we have a right to speak our mind, and, and as activists and journalists, and they're often, real journalists really are activists, we have a right to speak our mind and not be silenced in the courts over it. And we have to defend that right. And so the new tactic is these corporations, because what we're really doing is we're stepping, and a lot of people don't realize this, we're stepping on the toes of the profits of corporations. That's what Ammon did when he stood against St. Luke's Hospital for their human abuse, for their corruption, for their trying to manipulate people's lives and steal children from their mother's arms in the name of health for their wallets. That's what these people participated in. Are you gonna sue me for $50 million too? And this is why I think no one's talking about this because they go through and they say, Bundy, look at the news stories. Bundy, who falsely claimed last year that a local hospital had kidnapped and dangerously, a dangerously underweight baby from a family of Bundy supporters. Look how they write this stuff. Look at this. This isn't news. Bundy, who falsely claimed last year that a local hospital had kidnapped and dangerously under, a dangerously underweight baby from a family of Bundy supporters, said his wife and son's bank accounts have now been emptied by court order. Now, if you had real news, they would be like, hey, money's being taken from people's bank accounts without due process because an activist and a journalist spoke against a corporation. But what are they doing? What's, what's MSN do? What's Fox do? Just depends on what side of the fence the story falls on, right? They support this stuff. And so when you look at people like me, you're like Am and Buddies, you go to our Wikipedia pages and you see this journalist spin crap that makes us out to be crazy. But the crazy ones are the people who think they can come into your homes and steal your kids. The crazy ones are the people that think you have to give thousands of dollars every year to continue living in your house even though they do nothing for you. It's extortion money. That's crazy. Crazy is a society that accepts that. Crazy is a society that says police who come to steal people's children when there's no evidence and no conviction of a crime, they're protecting us. Crazy is saying, I know it's, I don't like having to pay property tax either, but I have to pay this money or they'll come and take my house. Oh, well, what if you defend your property? Oh, they'll kill me. They'll Waco me. They'll Ruby Ridge me. Ignorance and craziness is accepting that that is a normal, sane society. And I don't care what country you're in. And so what they've done with Ammon Bundy, and this is why I wanted to do a short video, and this is why I'm going to keep this fairly short and cut it out. St. Luke's Hospital, the corporation that runs them, sued Ammon Bundy and other people and got a lawsuit against him, not because Ammon Bundy did anything wrong. You have a right to speak out, but because Ammon Bundy made them look bad. Because Ammon Bundy called it like he saw it. And there was a lot of truth to what he said. Now, I wasn't at those protests, and even though I was talking to people that were, and that were involved in them, and I'm going to link to Ammon's video because he summarizes really well just how wicked and evil this hospital officials actually were and how they were colluding with police and child services 
to hurt this family. These are supposed to be healers. These are supposed to be doctors. Shame on you. You're not doctors. You're destroyers. This isn't healing. This is extortion. And so don't let up. Don't let up on these scumbags right here and the organization that runs them. How dare they call themselves St. Luke? There's not enough St. Luke in these people. Does that mean there's no good doctors or no good nurses working in these hospitals? Of course not. There's lots of people stuck in the middle of all this stuff that want to help. But this is a new tactic. Lawfare, I think, is a, is a good word for it. They're waging war using courts. And obviously, if a company with millions upon millions of dollars, a corporation comes after an individual and throws all the weight they can against a journalist or an activist to say, we want the courts to punish them for speaking against the corporation. And these bought off crooked cockroaches in robes running around calling themselves a justice system and a judicial authority when they violated their authority the moment they used it to abuse our life, liberty, and property, and their authority was lost. These crazy people that are called judges, that work for corporations to put millions of dollars in fines, and, and eventually, Ammon left. I don't know where he went. I hope he's not in the US, because they will find you there. So go somewhere out of reach, do your research. I try to put lots of information on this here, okay? But they won't stop. They won't stop. And I've been talking about Ammon Bundy ever since I've known him from way back in the Bundy Ranch days. Uh, if you guys follow my videos over the years, you know that while Ammon was in prison, I did the Bundy story, which was actually a long documentary. Not long, it's about 30 minutes, but it's a documentary narrated by Ammon from jail that I then had to clarify all the audio and then I mixed it with the video and stuff to make a documentary about what was happening with the Bundy Ranch, with the, the wildlife refuge. Do I always agree with Ammon? Do I always think he takes the right approach? Do I always think he motivates his, his, his boots on the ground in the same way that I would know? But that's not what matters here. He's been, this is a man who's been standing up for years to defend people's rights. And, and just like people always want to pick me apart because I do something this or I don't like that or they don't like myself, I'm not going to do that to anyone else. I'm not going to do it to Alex Jones. I'm not going to do it to Ammon Bundy. I'm not going to do it to the left. I'm not going to do it to the right. If, so, if I disagree with something, I'll talk to them about it or I'll speak about it. But I'm sick and tired of journalists being silenced. And that's what this is. I'm a journalist. Ammon Bundy is a journalist. We're also activists. Investigative journalism is activism, you guys, and it always has been, and it's always been dangerous, and we always have to stand up to it. But I don't think most people realize the, these absolute psychopaths running St. Luke's Medical Center, they came after Ammon Bundy using all the force of a corrupt legal system. Ammon Bundy has now refused to show up for these kangaroo courts and has left his home and everything he worked to build with his own hands and his own work behind. And the news has the audacity to support this corporation that used that force to get a $52 million defamation lawsuit against Ammon Bundy. That's psychotic and they need to be held accountable. St. Luke's needs to be held accountable. The police and the child services need to be held accountable. Companies should go bankrupt when they try and use the force of their money to destroy the truth. They should be so exposed. They should be so outed in the light of day that their company no longer functions and they collapse into oblivion. That's what should happen to St. Luke's Hospital. And I have a right to that opinion. You can disagree. You can put your comments down below. You can like, you can subscribe. There has to be a cost for these scumbags, for the politicians, for the people stealing our kids and our families and our homes, and for the corporations in the name of whatever job they're doing, whether it's a tow truck or whether it's a hospital 
or whether it's a prison complex who are participating in this theft and extortion. That's my take on the Ammon Bundy situation. Ammon, I hope wherever you are, you stay safe and that you stay out of the hands of Blue ISIS. And thank you for your service.